guys, it's Shay, and welcome to my channel if you're new, and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. And as you can tell by the title of this video, we're talking about Pokemon Snap. And the reason why we're talking about it is because Pokemon Snap is coming back. <laughs> Didn't mean for that to write. But anyway, pretty much Nintendo announced this past week, or this week, I want to say on like Wednesday or so, that the game Pokemon Snap is coming out for Nintendo Switch. And if you're like me, or if you're a little bit younger, you probably don't remember Pokemon Snap. Now, I actually do, because the original Pokemon Snap game came out in 1999 for Nintendo 64. And I absolutely love this game. The main premise of the original Pokemon Snap was that you were pretty much helping Professor Oak to fill his Pokedex with pictures of Pokemon in various places, like beaches and the jungle and so on and so forth. It only featured the original 151 Pokemon, and your character was pretty much a photographer and was in this weird contraption that was on an actual track and while on the track you basically just took pictures of Pokemon in the wild and you were in each environment for about 30 seconds to about a minute and your pictures were rated on like a star rating system depending on how good or how bad they actually were which was kind of difficult to take pictures of the Pokemon because they are moving. Also, there was a way where if you did certain things in different environments, like throwing a Pokeball somewhere or taking a picture of something, you could unlock the Pokemon Mew and take a picture of that Pokemon as well. I don't exactly remember if the legendary Pokemon were involved in it, which were the legendary birds of Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos, but I do know that Mew was in it and that trying to take a picture of Mew was amazing. Now, for the new Pokemon Snap game, which that is pretty much what the title is currently, I don't know if that's just the working title or if that's going to be actually the title, which is New Pokemon Snap. But there's not much that we know about this game. There's no release date, and all that we know is that you are going to be able to take pictures of a lot of unknown Pokemon that obviously were not a part of the original Pokemon Snap, as well as the original 150 or 151 Pokemon. I don't know if they're going to have you going in different regions or so on and so forth, so I have a lot of questions. So one of the questions that I do have is, are you going to be in the same contraption? Or is it going to be more of an open world kind of a game where, you or, where your character can explore the jungle and the beaches on its own without being trapped in some sort of vehicle and on a designated course through these, you know, environments, I guess is the best way for me to phrase it. Because I can honestly say that being on that contraption, being on that track, really hindered how you could actually take pictures of Pokemon because your 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 you know your movement was limited. And I'm wondering if now, because of all the other Pokemon games that have came out recently as well as previously, if you'll be able to move around a lot more, especially since you know things have been updated a lot. But that's just one of the questions that I have. Another question I have is how many Pokemon are going to be included in this game? Because as you remember with Pokemon Snap, the original one, they only had the original 150 or 151. Whereas with the new one, they said a lot of new Pokemon. So I'm curious if this is going to include all the 800 plus Pokemon that are now included in the Pokedex. And are the different regions actually going to be a part of it? So for example, the original region was Kanto, but I'm wondering if they're going to include Johto, Hoenn, going to include Unova and so on and so forth because a lot of some Pokemon are only designated to that particular region like Alolan Pokemon for example or like Galarian Pokemon are only a part of the most recent Pokemon game and are a part of that region. So I don't know how this entire game is going to work. I have a lot of questions but I'm not mad at it. I feel like Pokemon is going on this old like retro route or like bringing back a lot of old games so that new players can be able to enjoy it. Very similar to why they came out with Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee since those games came out when I was a kid and now they want, now that they know they have a lot of new players or new people that are involved in Pokemon, especially people who only play Pokemon Go, that they want to get them a little bit more enamored or involved in a lot of the different Pokemon games that are available. So what do you, what do you guys think? I'm actually really excited to play Pokemon Snap or new Pokemon Snap. It's going to bring me back a lot to my childhood and when I enjoyed playing Pokemon as well when I enjoyed playing Pokemon Snap. Like I said, I have a lot of questions. There's not much that we know about this game. So the most that we can actually do is just wait and see what's going to happen. Also, as of right now, there is no release date for this game. Although, if I had to pinpoint a release date or guess, 
I'm gonna get I'm gonna guess that sometime around this year's holiday. So probably like November or December, because like most game systems or like most game companies, they want to hit that a uh, holiday schedule so that that because they know a lot of people will pay a lot of money for games during that time to use as gifts. But because of what's going on right now, I don't know if that's going to be possible for any gaming company and if instead this game will be pushed back and not come out till sometime in 2021. But we don't know. We honestly just do not know. And I have, like I said, lots of questions. <laughs> but what do you guys think about this? Are you guys excited for this game coming out? Do you think that, you know, they kind of need to come out with more new games as opposed to trying to re-release a lot of old ones and also if you had to choose another pokemon game for them to re-release or update what game would you choose i know that they have already came out with pokemon tournament which is supposed to be similar to pokemon stadium but the game that i have to choose would have to be pokemon pinball which came out for game which actually came out for game boy like in 2000 or 2001 i would love for that to be on the switch but yeah that's what I have for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, please leave your comments below on your thoughts. I would love to read them. And of course, I try to answer everybody back or at least like your comments at least to let you know that I have read it and that I did enjoy what you had to say. Also, of course, I will leave links down below in the description box to all my social media accounts. I have an Instagram, my Twitter, and my blog as well. So check me out on there. And of course, give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. I mean, come on, if you've been watching more of my videos, just subscribe so that you can turn on post notifications so that you're notified when I come out with new videos, which are actually three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. So yeah, check me out on those days. And of course, like always, like I always tell you guys, stay nerdy, stay happy, and of course, stay safe during today's day and age. All right, you guys.